Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath. Welcome to Format Tricks for Exams, Shaman. Today we will see the very interesting and important topic, history of nanotechnology. See, I will make you this topic very, very interesting. See, all of you know the World Cup, Cricket World Cup, but we don't know the important cup. That is a Lycurgus Cup. It was there in the British Museum, Lycurgus Cup. So there was a relationship between the nanotechnology and Lycurgus Cup. I will explain you later. Okay. See, next, Norio Taguchi, he was a Tokyo University professor. Something special. He is, he was something special. He is something special. Okay. So this entire history of nanotechnology, not the history of nanopharmacy. See, in the syllabus, even though we are studying a pharmacy, in the syllabus, they have given history of nanotechnology. That means that in all the senses, it is not restricted to the history of nanopharmacy. So, I will explain you let by, one by one. I will explain you very neatly. Okay, don't worry. Just follow, just listen very carefully. Right. I will tell you. Uh, see, first of all, this Lycurgus cup, very interesting. Actually, nobody knows what is its color. Color cup. It was still there in the British Museum. But we don't know color because it shows the, some people who stands behind that cup. See here, at the back side of the cup, you can see the red the purple color. And if you stand in front of the cup, you will see the green color. See the wonder. That's why this is called a double color. Original color still we don't know. What is the original color? We don't know. This is a cup made up of completely glass. It transmits the glass. See now, there was a cup. Real cup color we don't know. That's why I put the question mark here. Incident light. See, whenever you switch on the bulb, the light will fall. The incident light will fall on the cup. Some of the light will be transmitted, transmitted through the glass. So that you will see the, the color as a red color if you are uh, standing at the back side of the cup. Isn't it? And if you see reflected color, reflected means the light which is reflected by the cup, that means that if you are standing in front of the cup, you will see the green color. Wonder really, that's why this is called a dichroic glass. Dichroic, dichroic. Chrome means color, di means two. Two color, dichroic glass. Two different colors because this is made up of nanoparticles, nanoparticle, nano glass particles. That's why this is called a dichroic color. See, this is about my YouTube channel. You can be fine in the YouTube. Okay, go to the playlist. After going to the playlist, in the playlist, I arranged all the videos subject wise. Whichever subject you want, you press on that. The remaining all videos you will get. This is my mobile app. You can be download from the Google Chrome. That is a Play Store, Google Play Store. And you after downloading, you go to the store option. See here, see the below store option. From the store option, I will put all the material, uh, the thing. Okay, right. See, this is the history of like the whatever I have explained the same thing. Okay, it was the most, you see this line, most outstanding achievement in the ancient glass industry. Ancient people, they are very intelligent than us. <laughs> they know the uh, nanotechnology or nanoparticle importance in those days, not now. Okay, uh, the same, you can be right in the examination with explanation. My notes is available in my app, mobile app. Okay, right. See, I will tell you that the history events, one by one, I will explain you. First of all, 4th century, 4th century, Lycurgus Cup. First, you have to write 4th century, Lycurgus Cup, dichroic glass, double colored glass. Because it is made up of nanoparticle, that's why it looks like double color. Keep in your mind. Next is 500 to 1450. Cathedral, Cathedral Church. See here, this glass. First one, this is dichroic glass. Second one, Cathedral Church. If you go to church, stained glass window. See, this word is important. Stained glass window, not the transparent plain window. Stained, you have given the color stain. Color stain, you have given. We got it, color stain. That's why this is called, because this is a nano painting. Painting, I will explain you later everything. Okay, next is 19, 
sorry, 1857, Michael Faraday. This fellow is very intelligent, Michael Faraday. Yeah? He synthesized the colloidal ruby gold nanoparticle. See, gold is this color. If you make the gold solution, it will be in the violet color. But if you make the gold solution, that is a nano gold solution, you can find a ruby gold color. See, if you are reducing the size of the gold up to nano, color also changes from violet to ruby gold. So he is the person, Faraday is the person. First, he did ruby gold. This is a ruby gold. You can see the various ornaments, ruby gold, ruby, ruby, that color. Because this is made up of this ruby color, because this is made up of nano gold particle. First of all, Michael Faraday, he only discovered. Next is 18, uh, sorry, 1907. See, all the years I have mentioned, light scattering nanoparticle. This fellow, my, my, he discovered the particles which scatters the light, captures or scatters the light. Next is uh, Ruxa. Ruska, this Ruska, he discovered the temp. Temp, this is called as a temp. Okay, transmission electron microscope. Okay, see, this is not made up of nanoparticle, this temp. This temp, even though it, it actually it belongs to nanotechnology only, even though it is not made up of nanoparticle, because this temp, we are used to find the size of the nanoparticles. That's why this is called as this is this comes also under the nanotechnology. See, nanoparticles, you cannot see the with ordinary microscope, also it is not possible. You have to see the SEM and TEM transmission electron microscope that discovered by seeing this only you can find either it is a nanoparticle or not. Uh, inversion. So this is an invented, he invented the transmission electron microscope. And Norio Taguchi, next is this fellow, Norio, he is a professor. He's a professor in the Tokyo University. He discovered the terminology, nanotechnology, nanotechnology, the word. He only the first of all used, invented and used that. Next is uh, Ekimo. Ekimo, he, he discovered the quantum dots. See here, you can see the quantum dots he discovered. Next is uh, DNA nanotechnology. See man, see here, DNA nanotechnology, see man. He used it. Next is discovery of colloidal, colloidal quantum uh, dots. First, nanocrystalline dots. See here, nanocrystalline dots. Later, colloidal quantum dots. Both are here. Next, 1991, 92, 93, 90s. We came into the 90s now. See, uh, he discovered the multi wall carbon nanotubes. Okay. Jima, we can say is a Jima multi. This is called a multi walled carbon. Now, number of walls are there. Wall one, wall two, three, four, five. This is called a multi walled. Number of walls are there. Multi walled carbon nanotubes, 1991. But keep in your mind, see here. This is multi walled carbon nanotube. See the cursor pointer. And this is a single wall carbon nanotube. This is also discovered in 1993. First, they discovered the multi-wall carbon nanotube. After two years, they discovered the single-wall carbon nanotube. Next is discovery of mesoporous silica. See here. This is a silica. This silica is a nano in size. Even though it is a nano in size, it is having a pores. Number of holes like this. Mesoporous, porous, mesoporous silica. This is a silica. In this pores, we can kept the drug, drug molecules you can put on each and every one you can place on each and every pore. Like that you can prepare the loaded, first of all you can prepare the empty porous silica, later filled nanoporous silica. So actually this under the microscope it looks like this, it is having a porous silica having a number of holes. This each, in the each hole you can place one drug molecule. Okay, next is SAM of DNA plus gold colloids. He discovered this SAM, uh, sorry, uh, DNA plus gold colloids. Okay, next later, uh, JVEX, first nanotechnology company was founded. Okay, JVEX, first nanotechnology company, very, very important to it. Next is C's Decker, he creation the transistor using the carbon nanotube. This is the carbon 
nano transistor. This transistor is made up of carbon nano tubes. Next is a um, development of a deep pen nano lithography. Lithography means just like a writing, writing technique one of the thing. Okay, 1999, triple line, development of a deep pen. This pen, they can dip into the ink. That ink is made up of nano like that. See here, whenever they're writing, this is a writing direction. Whenever they are writing a direction, they will get the ink like this. This is a ink point, this ink pen, they will dip in that and they will start writing. Whenever they will start writing in this direction, this is a white nano paper, white paper. Okay, in this ink will be flow in this manner. Okay, next, 2000, in the year of 2000, President Bill Clinton, US President, you can see the two US uh, presidents here. One is a uh, uh, Bill Clinton, he announces the one special department, special websites. Okay, what is that website? I will tell you. NNI, Nano, you see here, National Nanotechnology Initiative. National Nanotechnology Initiative. Okay, next is Molecular Nanomechanics uh, with nanoscale, see here this point, nanoscale silicon devices. See, nanoscale silicon nano devices. It was divided by the Carlo. Okay. Next is uh, carbon nanotubes functionalized with the DNA. See here, carbon nanotube. This is a single wall carbon nanotube, but it was functionalized by the, with the help of DNA, DNA functionalized. Next is 21st century nanotechnology R&D Act, research and development in the nanotechnology. It was discovered by the Bush. He only started R&D in the nanotechnology special wing, okay? is a Bush, W. Bush, okay? Next is development of a gold nano shell. This is a nano shell. It looks like a gold, but inside there is a shell. Inside empty, empty, so that you can place the drug inside. See here, this is a gold nano shell. The drug we can incorporate inside the gold nano shell. Okay, that is a gold nano shell was discovered in the 2003 in the year. Next is uh, Nobel Selvo discovery of graphene. This is called as a graphene. Okay, it was discovered. Next is Buki balls. These two are the Buki balls. This is also Buki ball. This is also one of the important things. This Buki balls. Next is nano car with the turning Buki ball wheels. Next is shrinking objective to the nano scale. Objectives they are making a shrink up to the nano technology. Like that, all these events, there is still there is a number of events. I have taken only the important event. Don't miss it. All events you have to write in the examination. And this is also some of the events uh, additionally. Okay, this is the first dichromic colored glass by Roman in the fourth century. Dichromic uh, Liker gas cup. Next is church windows. Methodal, I have already told church windows, cathedral windows. Next is Islamic world. Islamic world. Luster. Luster. Next is Italian Russian poetry, 18th century. But whatever I have, see, Ruby, Michael Faraday, Ruby, uh, Ruby Nano Gold, it is called like that. XRD, XRD means X ray diffraction crystallography. This mission was invented in the year of 1895. This also can be added. Raman spectra, this is also related to nanoparticle. It was found out in the 1928. Next is SEM, scanning electron microscope, TEM, transmission electron microscope. All these points you can be. Uh, right in the examination year and what the innovation and this is the last slide last slide uh, here i have divided into section wise see chemistry what is the history computer science what is the history of nanotechnology biology what is the history in the biology physics what is the uh, history of nanotechnology in the physics xrd same if you however you want you can write you can write all the also my notes is already available in the app okay i have everything so i will end my session here thank you